Remember to have that mask in your hurricane kit as well. We say hello to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins now. Bobby D, I love it when we have these recon planes that fly into the storm. It's cool the vantage point they get. It really is, and you'd think it'd be fun, but it is just a bumpy fight. You have to imagine it. But some of them are actually based right here out of the Tampa Bay area, out of Lakeland Linder. They used to be out of McDill Air Force Base. So what you see here, this is actually from earlier today. That's one of the flights going into the storm. You see how it kind of looks like a figure four there? That's what they do. They do these figure fours and they keep crisscrossing over the center. And we use multiple planes to do that. So out of Keesler Air Force Base, we have these big C-130s. They shoot right through the center. Just like out of Lakeland Linder, we've got the P-3s. These are the Orions, but these are Kermit and Miss Piggy. Those are the ones that used to be based out of McDill, now they're based out of Lakeland Linder. And then we've got the one that probably Ryan would prefer, which is the Gulf Stream. You're just kind of chilling. This one doesn't really go through the storms. This one flies around the storms and measures the atmosphere. So the other two go in the storm, let us know the strength, the shape, the size, the pressure, the winds. Really important. That data goes into the models to make the models run correctly. And then this plane goes out and says what the atmosphere looks like around it. Is there drier air? Is there wind shear? Really good information. Let me take you over to the big board, guys. I want to show you what happened earlier today. Speaking of recon, we had a flight come out of Keesler Air Force Base and one come out of Lakeland, right? The P-3 and the C-130s. And at one point, watch this, they, they flew side by side. Now, you don't see that very often. Shot right through the center there and then kind of split up and finished their four by fours. Thank you for all the work that they do because that is a long, tiring job to be bounced around on a plane like that. They found 80 mile per hour winds tonight and a pressure of 987. This thing's moving to the northwest at 15 miles per hour. Trying to form an eye in there, it's about 10, nautil 10 nautical miles wide. And that's something that they can see, or at least feel it out a little bit better with their radar when they're out there as well too. And that helps us know if the storm is strengthening or weakened. We have a couple of rain bands coming over towards South Florida. We've had some storms in the easterly flow. The track that they just came out with, I showed you this at the top of the show, has not moved too much. It's still hugging the coast, if not maybe just off the coast. I think it skirts the coast. It's going to be real close, probably up towards Melbourne more than anything else with about 75 to 80 mile per hour winds right at the coast. The, I mean, you go in 10, 20, 30 miles and the winds will really drop off. And then you're looking at 60 to 70 mile per hour winds possible up through the Carolinas and perhaps even Virginia Beach, and then a little less as it moves northward by the time we get. Did you see that? That was Monday, Tuesday, and the Tuesday night. Now here's what it looks like closer to home. You see how we get in the Saturday afternoons, throwing a couple showers and storms towards South Florida. Look where the center is. Now this is our model. It doesn't necessarily know exactly where it's going to go, but I wanted to show you what we can look for for afternoon weather. That's 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. Winds go from northeast on Saturday to north-northwest on Sunday, 10 to 15 on Saturday, 15 to 20 on Sunday if this holds. You see shear picks back up, pushing on the storm. Look where all the rain is and the worst weather is to the north and the east of the center. And here's the wind forecast for Saturday at 3 in the afternoon. Look at Tampa. Not a lot, 10 to 15. And then as we get into Sunday morning, still some breezes for us, but not a lot. Look at the east coast. Sunday afternoon, the wind will actually pick up a little bit. As the storm starts to weaken, it'll actually spread out a little bit. But still, again, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds. Now this might change. And it's not set in stone at this particular point, so that's why we're going to track this for you all the way through. You're not boarding up your house if you're in the Tampa area, okay? Relax on this one, but watch it with us as we will let you know if things change. Even if it comes further west, it will weaken.